I think life is too short uh, not to be doing something which you really believe in, whether you're photographing for yourself, for your job, whether you photograph on the weekends or every day or once in a while. The main point is to be having fun and to be exercising your curiosity and to be really uh, in love with what you're doing. I started photography when I was in college and I suddenly decided that this was what, I, I kind of fell in love with the camera and I decided that this is what in fact I wanted to do. That was in 1978 and it's more than 30 years. Besides taking digital photos, Steve McCurry's work as a photographer includes scanning his old precious negatives, which are brought to new life through technology an operation requiring perfect calibration of his computer monitor, an absolute alignment between the monitor itself and the printer in use. That way, the digital print recreates the colors of the original picture, providing the same sensation the photographer experienced while shooting. I've used other printers in the past, but I've really found that the best results and the results that I think uh, are superior to all the other printers is, is, is the Epson because they have such wonderful colors which are, are true and representative of what I saw when I was there. It, it's a very accurate, very wonderful. I think this one is a bit sharper and there's more detail here in this in this ornament. And we've kind of uh, reduced the pixelation on the forehead. It's a little bit more smooth here. I think digital photography is, has made it much uh, easier in the sense that you can shoot an extremely low light level. Uh, questions of you know color balance and that are, are now easily dealt with. You can edit your work as you shoot you can monitor your work and evaluate your work as you should. I've experimented with different papers, but I keep coming back to this one particular paper. I think this really represents what I want to do with, uh, with my photography. The difference between printing today and printing, say, 20 years ago was before we would have the pictures, our pictures printed at a, at a lab. Today we can print them in our own offices and studios and at home. Uh, you can actually, and to be able to print and to reprint and to modify and to change and correct and make things better and do it immediately uh, is, is an incredible new day. So to do that in your home or in your own studio is a huge, huge benefit. All the prints in this exhibition were made uh, with Epson printers and inks, and I think the results are great. I, I think that there's no better printer in the world than what Epson's doing in Epson printers. Be prepared for a lot of work. Uh, photography, like any other profession or craft or endeavor, uh, takes a certain amount of effort and discipline and time. Never feel that we can kind of rest on our laurels or that never get to the point where we feel we can't learn anything more. I think uh, we have to be continually growing exploring and researching and never become complacent.
look at the history of photography, go to a bookstore, look through some photography books. There's so much incredible photography which has gone on in the last 50, 75 years. You really need to know uh, who some of these great photographers are, study their work. I mean, there's a long, long list of wonderful work that we can all learn from and appreciate. I think uh, some of these, uh, some of the historical pictures, we can actually perhaps even incorporate some techniques or some ideas into our own work. Try and kind of think outside the box. Uh, don't just photograph on a bright sunny day. Try and photograph at night in very, very low light. Uh, don't be afraid to make mistakes, but be, be experimental. Whatever kind of photography you, you do, I think you have to experiment and try different papers and see what you feel is gonna work best for you and your type of photography. There's no one answer, there's no simple solution. You really have to kind of try and, and experiment and see what works best for you. Find a subject that you're passionate about. It could be anything, it could be literally landscapes or it could be portraits, it could be photographing, whatever interests you, whatever you have a passion for. Because I think you'll make better pictures if you believe in the subject, if you believe in the stories, if you're a storyteller, do what you believe in and you'll get the best, the, the biggest benefit out of that. I think one of the most important points that we have to remember as photographers is to respect people's privacy and if people you know, don't want to be photographed that you need to basically move on. But that's an important, uh, I think, uh, lesson and uh, ethically we need to be very respectful of people's privacy.